So I and hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a, a dialogue box in this uh, case, a, a dialogue messages box in this uh, case, on, uh, whenever I want to like confirm in this uh, case. So whatever I mean is that uh, I can take this one, then apply it. You can see we are applying the our message box in this uh, case. Then I can click on OK. Then you can see we have this pop-up uh, dialogue message over here, which contains a very sexy header over here, which displays it on the symbol time frame in that specific time then we have this uh, icon over here which again can be of any format according to whatever the dialogue message you want to output in this uh, case or a uh, display in this uh, instance then you can see we have the message in this uh, quiz in, in this uh, place at this particular instance where we have uh, attached the expert advisor to the chat in this uh, case then we have like uh, some extra extra uh, messages in this case to that or uh, pertaining to that uh, particular message box in this particular uh, instance or a uh, dialogue in this uh, case then we have these uh, buttons that are clickable in this uh, instance where we have the default button on the cancelled button in this uh, case or we can have it on the whichever any other uh, in this uh, case and uh, of course this this, uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, box or a dialogue message box in this uh, case can be of any type. This is just like now the specific one. So maybe you can click on yes to like uh, EA authorized expert advisor authorized by user in this uh, case. So maybe I can just like clear this one off again and then I can click on no to see what we get uh, in this uh, particular instance. So maybe you can click on no and then you can like with the EA is just like removed in this uh, case. We do not like continue in this particular instance because the expert advisor is like unauthorized in this case. So the expert advisor is just like removed from the chat in this uh, case. So from this uh, instance over here, let us then start cr the creation of this, uh, the creation or the development of this particular uh, beautiful expert advisor or control logic in this uh, case. So to do this one, just click on the IDE icon over here, which basically activates the meta editor for you to start your editing. So just click on like uh, I will just like activate my navigator. <coughs> then I will just like expand the experts folder. Then I will base my file on the algo trading folder. Just click on new. Then expert advisor from template. It is always uh, pre-checked. Then click on next. Providing the file name for your EA. In this uh, case, I can just like have like a, a dialogue. Dialogue. Uh, message box in this uh, case then click on next then next and then uh, finally finish in this uh, case so you to do this one and i will like uh, deeply explain a few instances of uh, the creation of this uh, dialogue box in uh, box in this uh, case so at this instance i can just like go ahead and create integer L let me just like arrange these i don't like how they are arranged this uh, format like uh, that one so that uh, it makes it easier for one to monitor whatever to, to monitor and check for for like uh, for like uh, for like uh, what for like uh, errors warnings and all that kind of stuff in this uh, case so right now i can have so to get access to the to access to the message box you need to use the message integer of course it is an integer variable in this uh, case data type variable in this uh, instance then you need to provide in the, the the message in a string format so you can have like the basic one like attach uh, attach attach the ea to the to the to the chat uh, pal in this uh, case like do you want to attach the ea to the chat in this case let me have it in a question format in that particular instance like uh, that one so right now if i compile this one and then source for the file where was it source for the file in this particular instance what was the yeah dialogue message box whenever we attach it to the chat you can see we have like a not not that one that is not for us in this uh, case then we can have 
like uh, attach the EA to the chat pal. In this case, you have the, this kind of a basic uh, dialog bo box in this uh, case. So where you have just like the OK button only, you have like dialog box dot. Then you have this uh, this uh, symbol provided over here alongside with the with the symbol uh, time frame in this case respectively. So just click on OK. Then you can see we have this uh, message alert in in here respectively. Then over here maybe to make it like that is not like uh, the basic one in this uh, case. So like like uh, right now we can maybe let me just like copy this one. Then can maybe like paste it in this particular instance again in this particular format so we can have the response in this case now like uh, attach the e8 the chat maybe you can have like some other some other uh, some other uh, what do i like really call them some other messages in this case you can have something like maybe i can concatenate this one to have like uh, in a new in a new line in a new like a like a line i can have new line in this particular format i can have maybe a, a message number one in this case maybe you can print this this is a, this is is a, an on init uh, an on init the function that is called on the on init section and on init a uh, dialog box dialog uh, message box in this case doesn't again really matter then from yeah maybe you can have some more some uh, like uh, some uh, maybe let me co continue this one again maybe you can have something like uh, a new line in this particular format and then you can have a uh, number two in this uh, case maybe you can have like ea like uh, ea's uh, file name is equals to ea file name maybe you can have it is equals to like now uh, add concatenate it to the file name in this uh, case uh, file file name in this particular instance again like uh, that one and then then again you can have like uh, some more some more basic you can just like yeah like just like uh, go ahead and you can have like a uh, just literally anything that you need in this uh, case on the message in this particular instance so right now you can see we get a dialogue message then the default one the header then you can see we have like ea file name uh, dialogue message box then bra 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 and then then the other message maybe i can have this other message in a new line in this uh, case so new line okay new line like uh, that one so right now you can see that like uh, we get message box dot ex5 then we in a new line we have this kind of a uh, like, like you can have any text that you need in this uh, case in this particular format so right now that is not the first thing that you can alter in this particular instance like uh, like uh, this one so the other thing that you can alter and you can access this one by using this uh, comma is now the caption in this uh, case in our case the caption is is equals to null maybe we want to change our caption in this uh, case so the caption can be something like uh, like uh, basically let me have let me have something like uh, this one that cannot be our caption in this particular instance so if i restart it again you can see our caption over here is changed into this equals sign so maybe you can now like go ahead and change have a meaningful uh, uh, something that makes sense so we can have like our 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 message box our our dialogue like dialogue uh, message box a uh, caption in this case caption maybe i can have it in capital letter caption caption in this uh, case maybe you can have it on on a symbol then providing you can provide in like literally the symbol in this uh, case so maybe you need to like go ahead and concatenate these uh, uh, respectively so you can have like pl plus a uh, symbol you can provide in the symbol super easy then you can concatenate this one to uh, 
uh, what what else can you have maybe you can have like uh, ends and uh, maybe on time frame on then time frame then can provide in the time frame here uh, directly so maybe i can compile this one then check how it is coming in this uh, case so you can see our dialog box on our dial dialog bo uh, dialog message box caption on how do you sd uh, this one and then on time frame then because this one is now like uh, too big we have like bra 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 at the end maybe we can just like on on the section over here maybe we can have something like a, like a, maybe a comma then then maybe you can provide in the the time frame in this uh, case the period in this uh, case so maybe you can have like period in that format like uh, that one so maybe i can compile it again then we have okay the, the period comes in rd in this uh, case so we have something like uh, like uh, we need to like convert this one this is an enum so in a enum to string in that format like that we cannot have the addition sign over there so some the like that one so the addition sign like that one so we just like convert the enum from a from a, whichever the period it is to this current period in this format again so you can see like uh, that one then again maybe you can use this uh, string uh, string the string sub uh, string string substring in this uh, case to maybe cut in this uh, uh, maybe you can cut them in this uh, case so starting position for a period you have maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Then, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe you can cut from starting position of seven, and then a string the length of maybe five in this uh, case. So let me check this one out. So if I compile this one, you can see we get only the pitch four in this. A particular format in this uh, instance so right now you can see we have like a, yeah something like a, this one maybe we want to like uh, concatenate the length of the string maybe from uh, from five let me check whatever we get from five so from five we get these uh, these uh, wow let me check this one out so we have one two three four five six seven yeah it should be starting from seven in this particular instance for the period because we have like bra 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 period h4 in this case so we're going to get like a read of this period in this uh, case like we we get something like i think you understand we get like period period then h4 something like uh, this one so we want to get rid of this a uh, uh, initial string in this uh, case so we want to like get so the the number of the starting position we want to start we want to get like a uh, cut our string from starting one two three four five six seven position in this uh, case then from there we can like uh, we can like uh, the starting position over here does it even have any sense let me in effect I, I mean so it doesn't uh, like have any effect this this uh, this uh, string length in this uh, case it doesn't have any effect so you can just like i uh, leave it alone it is always like set to negative one in this particular instance so that is not uh, you can that is not how you can play around with the caption in this uh, case so right now from here what is the other thing that you need to like uh, like uh, do in this uh, case so right now we can play around with the buttons in this case and uh, you can see we have this section uh, only for that buttons in this uh, case or maybe you can have an icon that uh, i had presented over here so let us start with the icon uh, respectively in this uh, case so maybe we can have the icon and we can have the icon over here so to get access to the icon that icon we need to do the to have the comma again you need to access the comma then you need to provide the boolean uh, flags in this uh, case so to do this one you need to like use the mb uh, then mb you can use the 
you can use the mb mb like uh, maybe you want to use the icon they are these kind of icons in this case they are predefined by the mkl5 so you can use maybe like a icon asterisk in this uh, case and then whenever you compile this one you can check you get this kind of a uh, kind of a uh, what do you really like yeah this kind of uh, aster asterisk uh, icon in this uh, case so you get the asterisk icon in this uh, case so again maybe you do not in our case it is a question in this uh, case so uh, exactly like you can use like any other uh, icon that is contained in this case you can maybe use icon error that you want to have in this case so something uh, dynamic like uh, that one in this uh, case so again uh, maybe the, in our case uh, i don't need to like go ahead and uh, and uh, test on uh, each and every uh, of them in this uh, case so i can like move ahead since our in our case we need to like have icon icon question we we ask a question we asked a question in here where attach the e8 to the chat pal then that is now a question so maybe right now we can have that question in this uh, case icon uh, question icon in this uh, instance then maybe you want to like uh, then maybe you want to like uh, have uh, maybe you want to like uh, you can then alter alter this uh, text in this case maybe you want to you can concatenate these mb icons in this uh, case M i mean mb uh, properties like you can have like a, like a, maybe you want to have it the the text over here being oriented to the right side so if you compile this one you can see the text is now uh, oriented on the on the left on the right side in this uh, case so maybe you want to like uh, maybe from uh, reading mode from uh, maybe right right to left reading in this uh, case so maybe again you can compile it again and you can see we have we start like uh, literally on the on the right to left reading mode in this uh, case as you can see uh, in this uh, instance over yeah so right now i do not need to have maybe i can have uh, right only in that format in that uh, case so right now you can see we have that uh, reading mode in this uh, specific case so the next thing that you can do is uh, you can play around with the with the mb icons in this uh, case so right now you can have Right now we have a default MB icon of just OK. In this case, you can maybe concatenate that uh, format. In that format, then have MB like uh, like uh, maybe basically the R mini in this uh, case. Maybe you can have a retry retry console in this uh, case. So retry console. If you compile, you have the retry and console uh, icons respectively in that uh, format so you can maybe cancel like uh, that one so you can have like uh, what was what else maybe maybe uh, yes yes no in this uh, case maybe you can compile and check it out you so you have a yes no uh, icon in this case so maybe i can have yes no console in this uh, case why not so right now you can see you have yes no and console uh, icons in this uh, case so again i do not need to like spend much time explaining on that uh, in this uh, case so the next thing that you can concatenate over here you see the plus sign in this uh, case the addition sign in this uh, case is the default button in this uh, case so you can have mb a uh, default uh, default button in this uh, case so the default button if you choose default it is always pre-checked the the default one is the the first button in this uh, case so if you have your default button as button number one and then compile it will not have any effect in this uh, case because it, because it is the default one in this uh, particular instance however if you like uh, you can maybe like have the second button uh, as the default button the de default button uh, b def def in this case d e f stands for default then button then two in this uh, case in, in this uh, instance where the second button in this uh, instance or, or uh, the button two in this case it is there it is the second button in this uh, instance particularly so if i click on compile you can see like uh, like uh, right now the no button which is not the second button is pre-checked in this uh, case it is not the is it is now uh, set as the default button so 
yeah something like this one if you set this one to three you will now like uh, get uh, three as the default button in our case which is now cancel in this uh, case so if right now if you have we do not have any five button you have default buttons from one to four so if we have four our as our default button it will we do not have any any fourth button in this uh, case so it will be like uh, reset to the default button which is button number one which is in our case yes button in this uh, format so can maybe have like a three as now the default button which we will have uh, it set to a uh, console which is now our third button in this case respectively so that is now like uh, everything that uh, you needed to know about this response however as uh, you can see over here whenever you click on the either yes no yeah on those uh, responses you do not like uh, we do not like have anything in uh, particular in this uh, case like what i mean is like well, maybe i can get rid of this one it's like whenever like uh, we attach it to the chart in this uh, case and then click on uh, yes nothing happens in this uh, case yes no yeah nothing like particularly happens in this uh, instance so right now we can like then alpha uh, statements in this uh, case where we have if response in this case is equals to is equals to id yes in this case or whatever the id that you are using in this uh, format maybe you used the ignore the help the continue the close actually these are not like basically all the ids that uh, you can have in this particular format in our case you have we have only id yes in this uh, case id no or id cancel uh, as you can see over here so if if a response that is uh, clicked in this uh, case is equals to id yes then we want to like go ahead and maybe you can print can print like uh, to the to the user in this uh, case like uh, what can we print like uh, ea ea uh, authorized to to run to run in this uh, case by user maybe uh, by user reason by user maybe maybe uh, yes clicked yes yes button uh, clicked or uh, checked in this uh, case doesn't again really matter in this particular instance so if i compile this one and then we can have we, uh, we can click this one on yes then whenever we go back you can see ea okay authorized by user yes button clicked in this uh, particular instance however i saw a mistake over here we need you authorized in this uh, particular instance eos maybe we can have like a eos maybe we can have something like a copy then paste else so else if response is equals to id no in this uh, case is equals to id no or uh, again particularly is equals to id id which other id do we have id yes i, I mean id cancel if is equals to either id no or uh, cancel you can say that uh, ea unauthorized unauthorized by user maybe you can say yes okay no or a uh, console maybe no or a uh, no or a uh, console console button is clicked in this uh, case maybe you can have something like uh, that one so maybe you can click on on a uh, console over here and then check the response that we get so ea unauthorized to run by user okay no or a console button was clicked in this particular instance so right now we can like in at this particular instance maybe return maybe we can return in it in it uh, we can return like in it 
a field in this case which means like a, we just like revert from the expert advisor we do not initialize this particular expert advisor so maybe i can click on no this time round then you can see the since i clicked on on a on a no button the ea was just like <laughs> automatically removed for the expert advisor because on initialization failed in this case we did not like confirm in this uh, case so maybe i can show this one more time like uh, like uh, maybe what where was it dialog box maybe i can initialize it maybe click on okay then click on no then you can see the expert advisor is like automatically removed from the chart in this case however if i just like go ahead and uh, attach it to the chart and then click on cancel again the expert advisor is just like uh, removed from the chart maybe i could just like maybe again attach it then click on yes in this time round maybe whenever i click on yes right now you can see the expert advisor is uh, authorized in this case to run on that particular chart so basically that is not like uh, everything that you need to know about this uh, fancy and sexy message uh, dialog boxes that uh, are created out here in this uh, case and you can just like go ahead and maybe the uh, maybe like this is not a meaningful one maybe you can see like uh, like uh, let's let's uh, maybe click <laughs> maybe like if if you want if you want to trade uh, trade or uh, attach this uh, ea to the chart to the chart just just uh, click on 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 yes like yes button otherwise otherwise click on the no or uh, cancel button in this uh, case so something uh, dynamic like uh, that one so again i need like uh, that one let me compile this one i just wanted to get rid of that error that you are getting over there so right, right now you can see we have something uh, as dynamic as this one attach the ea to the chat pal no this is an on init dialog box in this uh, case then ea file name is equals to dialog box bra 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 then if you want to uh, if you want to attach the if you want to trade or attach this ea to the chat just click on the yes button otherwise click on the no or a cancel button in this case respectively so maybe you can click on no like uh, yeah something as a dynamic uh, like that one just noticed i need the space over here so maybe i can compile it again and yet yeah because we clicked on the no the expert advisor was automatically removed from the chart in this uh, case so right now i can just like maybe yeah so right now you can see that our expert advisor is just like working fine in this uh, case so you can just like go ahead and have some other uh, control logic in this uh, case maybe you want to like um, maybe you want to like uh, like uh, like uh, simply i just like used this uh, this uh, message box in this particular instance over here in this uh, on in its section simply maybe you want to like uh, initialize this message box and uh, have something like a uh, something like uh, maybe you want to output a particular message a particular dialogue to the user that, that uh, maybe maybe you want to print something like what an alert like like a uh, price was met like uh, you missed some parameters somewhere or uh, this is not like now the basic one in this uh, case and uh, do hope that you get something from it so that is now that uh, like basically everything that uh, you need to to know about this uh, this uh, on in its function in this case uh, like you do not like even have to like uh, return on in it field in this uh, case this was just like for illustration purposes <laughs> just like <laughs> do not go ahead and use this uh, on init function function over here 
like uh, returning the init field function in this uh, case over yeah this is just like for demo demo purposes in this case you can just like basically implement implement anything uh, uh, along this uh, uh, particular uh, code snippet in this uh, case this snippet you can just like alter or uh, use it according to your uh, code uh, as you deem fit in this uh, case according to your needs in this uh, case so that is all uh, that you need to know about this particular lesson so that is all bye bye till we meet on next uh, video lesson so bye bye